Hi there, welcome to my Aura Style. My name is Tammy and I use travel, lifestyle, and fashion content to show you what it's like to be black plus and abroad. yet another vlog in my kitchen that's because i decided to get up in the middle of the night and start cooking like i have to do things when i feel most motivated and honestly when i got up out of my sleep i decided you know what if you don't meal prep now you're not gonna do it so it's the middle of the night it's actually early sunday morning like 12 12 30 a.m and I decided to go ahead and start at cooking. So my menu for this week's meal prep is going to be herb chicken, green beans, and spaghetti. So I grew up in a household where there was a mashup between the South and the Midwest. So before my mom got married to my dad, we was eating spaghetti as a main course. Then he came along, and when my mom would make spaghetti as a main course, he would stop by a local chicken restaurant and get fried chicken. And so we had kind of like the best of both worlds. And so now I'm doing things like he did in our household. Like my mom uh, eventually started to adapt a healthier lifestyle, and she would uh, make rotisserie or baked chicken with the spaghetti and now here I am, <laughs> here I am doing it. But it's gonna be a really good meal prep because it's a lot of variety in the meal prep. It's going to be the spaghetti and then I can have it with the green beans or I can have green beans and chicken or I can have spaghetti and chicken. So it's really like three or four meals in one. And if you throw a salad in there, it's the, the possibilities are like endless. I'm also making content for my Instagram. And so um, I'm making my chicken recipe. I'm making it up as I go along. I feel confident enough in my cooking skills where, you know, I'm just gonna try it out. I'm gonna film it and hope for the best. I think it's gonna taste good. And so, yeah, um, I've made chicken this way uh, before. Um, but not in this like exact way. Like I'm using fresh herbs this time. Um, of course with a combination of uh, seasoning blends like garlic powder, onion powder and stuff like that. Like you, you have to use those base seasonings to uh, elevate the flavor. So I'm not just gonna use herbs and no seasoning. Like we don't do that over here. But I'm using fresh herbs and I'm a little bit excited about that. Um, I've been trying to incorporate that more and more into my cooking. Anyway, let me stop rambling. I got a lot of work to do. And so I thought I'd just show you a little bit of behind the scenes of me cooking my meal prep this week.
so I've come to a good stopping point in my uh, meal prep. It's well past three o'clock in the morning, but let me show you what I got accomplished. This right here is the meat for my meat sauce. Um, so we got some fresh herbs and spices in there, some bell pepper and onions, and then some canned tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'll do the rest of the prep tomorrow because I want my food to be fresh. Then over here, we have a herb roasted chicken. That will be a tutorial on my Instagram and so make sure you check that out. The link to my Instagram is in the bio here on YouTube and I also have it in the description box. I made a lot of headway. It was a lot of chopping and prepping and stuff before I actually cooked everything and so that's what was the most time consuming and then of course filming in between that I might go and edit like I'm feeling super motivated so I might go and edit um or I might go to sleep we'll see what happens I just got done with some editing and my house smells so good and I think I know who the culprit is so this is how the chicken is looking note to self like or Mental note, I should say. When you make a chicken in a crock pot, it's going to look quite beige. That doesn't mean that it's not done. That just means that this is not an oven and you can't brown it in your crock pot. But if you want to brown it, you can take it out of your crock pot and put it in a pan and then uh, broil it in the oven for a few um, minutes, seconds, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But look at those herbs just cooking on the top of that bird. Look at the juices. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. You see that bubbling in the corner right there? Let's see if it'll do it. Now I'm pointing it out. I ain't going to do it. But all of that in the bottom is broth that has collected. Broth that has collected with that herb butter that I put. Just... What I need you to do is go to YouTube. I mean, not go to YouTube. Lord, it's early. Go to Instagram and get the tutorial for this chicken and get your life. This is my meat for my meat sauce. I just let it sit on the stove and I turn the heat off of it. But I might just go ahead and make the meat sauce and let it be simmering. I think I am going to do that. And so, I'm going to put it back on the larger eye on my stove. And I'm going to turn my stove to probably two. Because one is just like to keep warm. So, two would be like we're giving a good simmer over time. Let me see. I'm going to take y'all over here to my little pantry area. And this is... The spaghetti sauce that I'm going to use. All right. We're going to go ahead and just put that in there. So, I use a combination of Italian sausage. Full fat Italian sausage. It was the hot Italian sausage. And I also used um, ground turkey. So, I made the Italian sausage first. And then I strained most of the fat off of it. And then um, I made the uh, ground turkey second. The Italian sausage was, sausage was already seasoned. So I didn't put no seasoning in that. But the ground turkey, I did put seasoning in there. And then I combined the two meats uh, together and started adding my vegetables and my herbs. Hey y'all, so it's about 1 p.m. almost 2 the next day. And um, I've been cooking and kind of editing through the night. And I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, cooking so that I can eat. 
because I'm quite hungry. Last night when I got finished editing, I went to sleep and I slept really good. Um, and so we've got to get this meal done. I'm going to show you the progress that I've made. So this chicken is just kind of keeping warm in the crock pot for when I want to slice it. This is how it looks. Look how lovely it is. It even has a little bit of browning on it, which I was surprised about. Again, the tutorial for this crock pot herb chicken will be on my Instagram. And so go and look at that. My Instagram link will be in the description box of this video. It will be, it's also in the bio on YouTube or in my bio on YouTube. So yeah, that's how that turned out. It is smelling my house up. I'm going to show you my meat sauce. Now I turned that on earlier. And so this is my meat sauce. I like a really hearty meat sauce. And so I feel like it's a really good uh, combination or ratio of meat to sauce. I cook the hot Italian sausage first because it has more fat content. And then I drained it and strained it. And then I cooked the ground turkey and then mixed them together. So that's how I did it. So I need to make my spaghetti noodles. I need to make my green beans. I already prepared them. So when I make green beans out of the can, I don't use the broth that they come in. I uh, only use like... So I bought three cans of green beans because I want to eat them throughout the week. They the fat green beans. Let's just go ahead and open up the refrigerator and get those out and put those on. So I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going them on the stove right now. My stove is dirty, y'all. Okay, so this is what my green beans look like right here. So I have some onion in there. This is three cans of the fat Italian green beans. And so I chopped up half of a purple onion and then I used about, I want to say, no, I used a packet of uh, the pig sweet frozen onions because I like onions. And so I'm just going to put them on this back eye. And I'm going to take my time. I don't want my green beans to get mushy. So I'm probably going to put these on one or two. Probably two. Bring it right back, right back to me, baby. No, we've been here before. Give me the real this time. No cat, no lies. It's our own. As you can see, we have come to a rolling boil. I'm multitasking. I'm uh, editing. Okay, so as you can see, we've come to a rolling boil and it's time to add our noodles. I like my noodles al dente. I don't like my noodles to be, you know, too overcooked. Like, that's that doesn't make for good spaghetti for me. All right, so I've been using these Ronzini Super Greens. I still think they have starch, but beggars can't be choosers. Like, I didn't feel like doing zucchini noodles. Zucchini noodles is really a surefire way to cut down on uh, starch. 
I love my zucchini noodles with red sauce because they absorb the flavor. But I made a um, I made an Alfredo sauce, and y'all, that real people like that real. So I will link it down below in the description box. You know. I say this all the time on my vlogs, and I'm not even flexing. Like, it's the truth. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I grew up as a latchkey kid. What that means is your mama worked, and you spent time by yourself at home. You know, when you were of age to be at home by yourself, and one of my chores was cooking. Um, You know, I took to the domestic side of my lineage growing up and so because of that I've been cooking since I was an early adolescent probably even a little bit before then because of the starch content spaghetti is a rare delicacy in my house I'm gonna turn this stove off because I feel like if I leave it on, you know, my noodles will get mushy. And I like my noodles al dente. And so once I put them uh, on a roll and boil and they begin to soften, I turn the, the heat off of them. And actually, I'm going to put this lid on them. One of the good things about an electric stove is it still supplies good heat even after you turn the burner off. So now, I'm going to check on these green beans. They've been on a low setting, but they ain't hardly doing nothing. So, I'm going to probably put them on a higher setting, like maybe on two. But I don't want to put them, like, on a rolling boil. Wait, is this I even on? Child, I probably not even on. Which eye did I turn on? Y'all, I turned on the front eye and I got the the green beans on the back eye. So that's probably why they're not cooking. So let's do this together. So again, this is woo, this is my sauce. You see it? Hold on. Let me just not be lazy. Now you can see it. I'm gonna take a plastic spoon. So I turned the heat off of it, but the stove been hot, so it's probably lukewarm. I don't care. Mmm. It's good. Yes, indeed. When I put that mozzarella cheese on it, cheese. It's going to hit. I put a little bit of barbecue sauce in my spaghetti sauce to neutralize the, the um, acidic, acidity in the tomatoes. And that adds a little bit of sweetness. taking this long to get going but that's because I had them on the wrong eye and so now they are doing exactly what I needed them to do I put a little um Tony Satchery's in there because I felt like they uh needed a little bit of salt this is my spaghetti y'all seen me assemble this but I just want to show you the final product look at that condensation oh and them green spaghetti noodles with the superfood. Ugh, I'm fixing to make my plate. The chicken is still warming over here. Oh my goodness. I'm finna make my plate right now. I'm gonna start with this chicken. 
I don't know, like, I'm a chicken wing eater. Anybody else like chicken wings? I like to start with the chicken wing and then I do the other parts of the chicken. So let me see. I'm gonna try to set y'all up so y'all can see me actually deal with this chicken. Ugh, you can't see. Okay, I'm gonna have to point the camera down. All right, so you see it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. I want you to really see. Let me just do what I need to do. Okay, there we go. Cause I want, I want y'all to really see this, honey. First of all, it's been on keep warm for like forever. Ooh, I'm already working on the reel for y'all. Okay. So I got me a paper plate right here. Um, when you have to bring home the bacon and fry it up, you ain't trying to wash no dishes. Y'all just saw me put dishes in the dishwasher. That's the third time that I had to put dishes in the dishwasher. Mainly because my dishwasher is super small. I thought I had a uh, wooden spoon in here, but I don't. And for aesthetic purposes, we just gonna go ahead and get a leg quarter. Like I'm literally like taking this spoon and just cutting right down into it. And it's so tender that it is really just falling off of the bone. So this is how the chicken looks. This is the inside. Look at that steam coming up from off of it. It's beautiful. And here it is on the plate. Let me hold y'all up so y'all can see it. Here it is on the plate. Look at all of those herbs. Oh my God. And the broth from this would make like really good broth for like a bunch of different dishes. Like I couldn't even count. I probably wouldn't put it in soup cause it might be a little bit um, greasy because of the olive oil that I put in it. Um, and the butter, but like some dressing or something like that. You know, anything you would use chicken broth in except for soup. So for my spaghetti, I'm gonna use a paper bowl for it because um, I'm gonna put some of this cheese on it and I'm gonna have to put it in the microwave for the cheese to melt. I have this, the mozzarella shreds, but I also have some more of the cheddar shreds too. So we can do a nice mixture. I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this to just dip it out. We don't do bland around here. So we're gonna get these cheddar cheese spreads, shreds and put it on there on the top. This uh, sauce and this spaghetti is about room temperature because I've let it sit on the stove. Hold on, I'm gonna put this to the side. Open this up. I'm gonna take this, boom, and put it on there. I have the microwave with the dial, so like, you can't really do like 30 seconds. The lowest you can do is like a minute. When I tell y'all I'm finna eat, oh, I'm finna eat so good. Let me put this back.
gonna get us some green beans with some slotted, with a slotted spoon. And it's a little bit of that chicken broth down there. I don't mind. The consistency is a little mushy. I think it's that brand. But you know it is what it is. So we got our herb chicken and our green beans. And then we've got our superfood spaghetti. That's why it's uh, green. And we've got our mozzarella shreds and our cheddar cheese shreds. So I am gonna go in my room and keep watching the Housewives of Potomac. And I am going to eat, oh, and I couldn't finish this uh, Crystal Light. It's actually the Hawaiian Punch flavored drink, so it's not Crystal Light, light. but uh, I couldn't finish the whole thing, so I just put it in the refrigerator. You know I laced it with some lemon juice, so this is gonna be on the side. Oh, I'm finna eat so good, I'm so excited. All right, until next time. Bring it right back.